only rotating motion. The, the axis passing through, it, it is rotating center of mass like this, there is a solid sphere. I want about axis PP dash. Hang the momentum of this rigid body about axis PP dash. Now, what is it? It is having only pure rotative motion. <coughs> then what should be the formula? L PP dash should be equal to LC omega plus angular momentum due to translative motion. What is the angular momentum due to rotative motion? It is equal to just IC omega C. Due to translative motion, what is the state of, uh, it is having pure rotative motion. So this will be zero. So what is IC? 2 by 5 MR square omega. What about the direction? Plus J cap, if you want, you can write it. Finish all that one. So I will I'll, I'll increase and dish, I'll, I'll vary the X. Let's see you change it. Is independent of X, no? It's independent of X will come. Okay, this is about the, the basic necessity of the angular momentum, this one. Now, now again, uh, we'll, we'll go back to one more last discussion. Let, 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 let's see that if angular moment of rigid body is not constant, it's variable, then what actually happens on a system? I'll differentiate this dl by dt, which is equal to r bar cross dp bar by dt plus dr bar by dt cross p bar. I think I'll, I'll write in order. Look at this. So DL bar by DT. What is DL bar by DT? Rate of change of angular momentum. Now, what is DP bar by DT? There should be the force. Now, what is DR bar by DT? There should be the velocity. And what is momentum? MV bar. What can be this right hand side? Should be zero. Because V bar cross M, M is a constant. V bar cross V bar should be zero. So finally, what we are getting is this R bar cross F bar will become external torque. Hmm. Okay, now there's a relation between the torque and the angular momentum. So when the angular momentum will be conserved when net external torque is zero. If net external torque is zero, DL bar will be zero. So therefore LF is equal to LI. Conservation of angular momentum. Now, which is the heart of this entire rotation mechanics. So when angular momentum will be conserved, <coughs> when net external torque is zero. If the net external torque is zero, then what happened? Angular momentum of system will remain constant. This is similar to conservation of linear momentum. Net external force acting on system zero, angular momentum is linear momentum is conserved. Net external torque is zero, angular momentum will be conserved here. So, so like a, again, again, this is there for next week's syllabus. A small ideas I'm going to we are going to use in rolling motion. That's why I just brought it here. So when angular momentum will be conserved, will not be conserved. You have to check for external torque, not force. If net external torque zero, angular momentum is conserved. Net external torque non-zero, angular momentum will not be conserved. Fine. Okay, let's get into the basic rolling motion. Uh, don't do any conservation of angular momentum problems again. I, I'm making things clear. Uh, a rigid body is having a 